So let's have your real name. Martin Casaus. And your ring name? Tristan Gallo. And what do you do for a living? I'm a stockbroker. Good for you. <laughs> See, I said that people have other jobs. Now, how long have you been doing that? Uh, three, four years now. And how long have you been wrestling? Uh, since 03, so seven, seven years. And who trained you? Uh, Stevie Slick in UCW in Utah. Oh, in Utah? Yeah, I'm out of Utah. And, and what made you decide to get into pro wrestling? Actually, I went to a WWE show, mm -hmm. someone having a flyer, and I left it for a while, and I came, I saw it, and like, that sounds fun. I'm graduated high school. I was a big high school uh, athlete, and then I uh, had nothing to do after that. And like, that yeah. looks really fun. Well, yeah. Very showy, very, very fun, and it turned out to be just that. It is great. It absolutely is great. Um, I started in '65 and was trained by Johnny May Young, um, the only woman that, you know ever trained a guy. But I did the same thing because I went from bodybuilding into wrestling, and I thought entertainment was the way to go. Uh -huh. And now that you've been doing it, you're doing a lot of indie shows, right? Yeah. They're a lot of fun to do. Oh, yeah. There's no stress. No. No pressure like WWE. Nothing like that. But here's the thing I want to ask, because I get a lot of emails from kids who say that it's their dream to become a pro wrestler. They want to be a WWE superstar. And we know how hard it is to become that. Yeah. My advice, and hopefully your advice, is stay in school, get a profession, mm -hmm. a trade or something you can do full time, Pursue your wrestling, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you got something to fall back on. Exactly, exactly. I, I'm 25 years old, and uh, I have a house over in Salt Lake. So uh, nice. So I have something to fall back on. I had a pretty good life if nothing did happen. But it, it's always there. It's always a dream that you want to try to reach for. Well, absolutely. Do you have any aspirations going WWE? I do. I do actually. Yeah. So you, have good, you have a good look for it. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, I mean, it's, you know how it is. One out of 100,000 might make it. Um, but if you have your sights set and you work hard and you have the look that you do, and that's the thing I tell these guys: look in the mirror when you call me. So some of them are really young. They don't go to the gym. They don't try to benefit themselves. You got to have the total package. Because if you don't have it, they're not going to look at you. Right. And you got to pursue that. Because everybody seems to want the easy way in. Mm -hmm. They watch it on TV. They sit on the couch and think, oh, that's not going to hurt. And the next question is, does the ropes hurt? Do the, the mats hurt? Yeah, they hurt. Of course they're going to hurt. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get hurt doing indie shows, for sure. Accidents happen. But you can't pursue your dream. And you're doing it. I am here. I, I actually am wrestling every week from now until April thus far. So oh, good for you. So it's going to be fun. I love traveling and doing this. And meeting all these independent wrestlers is always a blast for me. Absolutely. All good guys. Oh, yeah, all good guys. Every one of them. Well, thank you very much. No problem. And um, I'll get Nikki and I'll have her send you a copy of the video once done. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. Okay.